What's going on everyone? I'm Sir James coming to you guys with another video and for this video I would like to give you guys a room tour of my room because I'm currently rendering videos on my PC and I'm kind of bored just waiting so I figured why not do a room tour video. But before we go ahead and check out my room I do want to let you guys know I do live outside in the garage. Why? Because so much privacy and two because it's an awesome room. So uh, let me go ahead and show you proof then we'll go ahead and check out my room. I'm recording off my iPod Touch because it's the only portable HD camera I have. So proof I live out in the garage. One, there is the main house over there. And two, if I open this door, leads into the garage. Alright, now let's go ahead and get back to what we're really here to see, which is not the garage, which is my room. So let me go ahead and do a quick pan around, then we're going to get a closer look at the items. Sorry for the minor shaky hand. door back so let's go ahead and get a closer look starting over here with all the main items so over here is my desktop PC where I do my gaming and of course video editing on I do have an upgraded graphics card and of course power supply to you know play some games on it I can play uh, pretty much every single game that's out right now on the highest settings which is really nice so in total with this PC and the upgraded graphics card and power supply, I spent under $700, and yet I could run everything on maximum settings. So, uh, man, not too bad. Over here is my 4 gig Xbox 360 with the upgraded hard drive. I used to have a PlayStation 3, but unfortunately that broke a few years ago. It got the yellow light of death. I've had no issues with my Xbox. I waited to get an Xbox. Um, you know, when they came out the Slim, I was like, okay, now I'll get one. Over here is my gaming headset I use, which is the Triton, uh, Ghost Recon Triton headset. Actually, you could find these for $100 at GameStop now, I just found out today. Uh, I'm not sure if it's an online deal or if it's in stores as well. So for $100, if you want to get a new headset, I would definitely recommend these. And of course, they light up as well, so if you like headsets lighting up. Over here, in between the desk and of course my dresser, I have a Kinect over here. I got this for like five bucks at a yard sale minor scratches on top but it works game case you know hard drive pieces for my headset and charging cable for the 360 controller over here is my capture card which is the Roxio game capture HD Pro now we're gonna go ahead and get to my desk over here and of course this room is obviously my room and of course this is also my office where I sit here and make money throughout the day so really nice thing to do so over here I have two 32 inch monitors I have one hooked up to my Xbox 360 that's the walkthrough I'm currently doing right now and of course I have one hooked up to my PC I have basically it that video is currently playing as a reminder for those of you who didn't see the video yet already but I do have an unboxing of the Tomb Raider Collector's Edition on my channel so towards the end of this video on the um, the right corner over here, there should be a little box that pops up at the last 10 seconds, leaving a link to that video if you guys want to check it out. Over here is my HD webcam, which is the, Log which is the Logitech uh, C920 HD webcam, capable of going to up to 1080p. Really good micro zoom, that's what I used for my unboxing video. Over here is my Blue Yeti Silver Edition microphone, a really nice microphone. Over here is my gaming keyboard. It's not like a Razer product or anything. Uh, I got this like, I think three or four years ago from a place that was going out of business. I don't remember exactly what place it was. But I got this keyboard for like about 20 bucks. And of course right below that I have a Naruto CCG mat, which stands for a collectible card game. I used to collect the card game and play in tournaments. But, you know, things started to get expensive and, you know, wasn't making any money during that time. So yeah, two 32-inch monitors. Like I said, one's hooked up to my Xbox, one's hooked up to my PC. Over here at the Parrot Rewards coasters from the Rewards program, StarCraft 2 mouse uh, pad. 
Over here are is what I use when I'm gaming or wear when I'm gaming that is, which is a pair of gunner glasses. I really like these. And of course, you know, piece for my headset and Xbox controller. And the blue Xbox 360 Chrome controller. Now, this next part you guys are going to like, which is these two black cabinets. I got some goodies in there for you guys to check out. So let's go ahead and open the first one right here. What is behind door number one? Let's go ahead and open this up and see what's inside. Pretty cool. So over here I got some games for the PC and Xbox 360. Over there, over there on the back, I have the Assassin's Creed 3 Limited Edition Guide. And I also have the Mortal Kombat bookends that came with the Collector's Edition. There's Clone, Clone Commander Colt, I believe his name is. Here's some games on the 360. There's the Lower Croft Player Arts figure that came with the Collector's Edition. And I do have a lot more PC games to this. Most of my games are on Steam during the Steam Summer Sale, and I can't wait to see what they have this year. And of course, I also enjoy the Star Wars The Clone Wars uh, show as well. On the back, I have the Gears of War, not Gears of War, Guild Wars 2 Limited Edition Guide, the, the medal for the Black Ops 2 RC. Uh, these, This guy came with the um, Brothers in Arms Limited Edition, and I found an extra one. I actually found him at a yard sale for like a dollar. But it didn't have any of his accessories, so I figured why not. And of course, there's the Assassin's Creed 3 belt buckle. All that. On the top of this one, I have player figures. So there's King Mickey. And I have the uh, Halo Reach line as well. Like I said, these are all player figures. Um, the only one I'm missing is George. I used to have him, but unfortunately he broke because I did have him up here displaying. But since he was top heavy, he fell during an earthquake and his leg snapped off and his foot broke, so I had to get a new one. There's the Black Ops 2 RCXD. There's my graphics card that I'm using. Some empty boxes, like I said, for the Blue Yeti, my capture card, an old capture card over here, the Dazzle. Uh, these are the earbuds I'm wearing. I got these for a nice good deal. I think I got these for like 20 bucks. Now, what's behind this black cabinet? I'm pretty sure we got some more goodies in here, right? So over here, I just have some Airbreeze, a screen cleaner, um, CD cases filled with CDs for games and music, um, the steel book for Assassin's Creed 3. Over here, I just have some wires like tape, receipts, little booklets, I mean, stuff I don't really need out. I just kind of throw in the basket. Some cases for my iPod Touch. Um, a little uh, Bioshock Infinite thing from GameStop. This is a standard definition camera I used to record with, uh, and hopefully soon I'll be getting an HD one. Over there is the cloaking hell gas from Killzone 3. Was it Killzone 3? Yeah, it was Killzone 3. Um, over there, you got some more Assassin's Creed 3 stuff. And you know, over here is basically stuff for the Naruto trading card game, and then of course uh, Yu Gi Oh! as well. Where on this portion of the desk, I have a little uh, toolbox thing filled with tools. Uh, over here is a little bank thing to put your loose change in. Vitamins, got to have vitamins. Uh, this thing is cool. This came with the limited edition guide, which um, has like the maps of each location. Over here is the kill, I uh, mean, the kill zone Hellgast helmet, which is really cool. Of course, underneath this, I have the Ghost Recon Future Soldier bandana that you got when you pre-ordered at your local GameStop. Over here is the patches from the Tomb Raider Collector's Edition. And over here is the comic book, and there's the Collector's Edition itself. I have my other items in there, like the soundtrack and stuff. And there is the lithograph. Over here is a Call of Duty Black Ops 2 little poster. And of course, a Hobbit calendar. I'm kind of falling behind. I'm not really keeping track of the dates because obviously it's already past March 5th, which I haven't marked off yet. Over here is a machine gun lamp. And of course, next up is the Gears of War 3 Epic Edition, which I recently got just uh, the other week. This one is uh, pretty cool. Over there is the Assassin's Creed 3 uh, Colonial Flag. That pirate flag I got is when I went to this uh, pirate dinner adventure thing. It's kind of like similar to the medieval times thing. 
Of course, over here, I have some boxes for the um, Gears of War 3, Skyrim. There's the bat ring from the um, Batman Arkham Asylum Collector's Edition, if I remember. There's the Tron Evolution Collector's Edition. Sorry for the light glare. The Skyrim Collector's Edition. That thing's a pain he has to dust. That's the only thing that's a pain. Assassin's Creed 3 Collector's Edition. Halo Reach Collector's Edition. Over here is the Lord of the Rings War in the North Collector's Edition, which came with this really nice mat, which you may have saw in my uh, Tomb Raider unboxing video. The inside contains the art book and all that. Over here is just boxes for the Assassin's Creed 3 Limited Edition. And there is the Gauntlet from Brotherhood. And these are just little display boxes I get from a local GameStop. So there's Borderlands 2, Dragon's Dogma, Spec Ops The Line, a poorly done uh, Connect game, which is Steel Battalion. I'm going to go back there see if they have a Tomb Raider 1 or a Battlefield 1. I mean, not Battlefield, a Tomb Raider and some other games. Basically, see what they have. Coca Cola cans, bottles, whatever. Box for the Skylanders. Over here is my Halo 3 bag that GameStop uh, sold a few years ago. Assassin's Creed 3 Game Informer poster. The Halo 4 countdown timer. Over here I have some Skylanders me and my baby brother like to play. And I can't wait for the upcoming new Skylanders in that Disney's Infinity. Which looks pretty cool. Some Game Informer magazines. Obviously, I'm a Rewards Pro member. I've been at GameStop, so I get these magazines for free. Over here's my laptop, compact laptop. Down in here, got some uh, extra gaming headsets, a pair of Tritons, the Triton detonators. Here is the Turtle Beach X12 gaming headset, a little joystick for uh, some of my PC games, the um, the portal for the Skylanders. Over here is the U Draw for the Xbox 360. Uh, you can actually get these for like 10 bucks at GameStop. When I went and got mine, it got this and it came with two games, which was a pretty cool deal. You know, some minor cleaning stuff, you know, body wash and all that. Over here is the little extra wires. Here's my old capture card, the Avery Media Game Capture HD. Internet cable, just extra wires for whatever, Xbox and whatnot. And of course, down below this is my Wacom tablet to do some drawings on, and of course, my netbook. And of course, two more things I forgot to show you guys. So there are my speakers right there. I don't remember exactly what they're called, but the uh, subwoofer is down there. And one more thing I forgot to show you guys. Yep, gotta have Dorito bags, some experience, whatever. But that's not what I was wanting to show you. I believe it was in this book. This is kind of like my little mixture dunk, junk drawer and whatnot. I'm trying to remember which one it was. Yeah, I do draw my free time when I'm not gaming. Alright, here's one of the pictures I just wanted to show you guys. So occasionally when I'm bored, I like to draw. Here's my favorite one, I think. My, or my first favorite. This one I did back in 2008 during Christmas. When I got these um, Prisma color pencils and of course charcoal as well. And yes, this was freehand. Actually, not freehand. I looked at an image. Uh, basically, what happened was from the trading cards I have, I'm looking at an image. Uh, let me go ahead and bring a card, for example. Basically, like I'm looking at an image like that size, and then I blow it up bigger, and then you know, freehand it and all that. So yeah, I'll just give you guys an example for the bronies out there. So, anyways. That's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed my room. What you guys think? Do you guys like my room? Uh, feel free to let me know in the comment section down below. And definitely stay tuned for tonight because I'll be uploading the Naruto walkthrough. I got three parts ready to go. It's going to be a long game, that's for sure. I'm already enjoying it. And, of course, 
like I said, that's it for this video. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave that in the comment section down below. And one last thing for those of you who are new to my channel, um, the people I work for, I work for a company called GamerFusion.com, and I'm also a YouTube partner as well. That's pretty much my job. That's why I'm saying this room right here is where I sleep and where I work. So cool stuff there. Anyways, see you guys later. I'm starting to lose my voice, and uh, peace.